We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. And her family. Hello, everyone. How y'all doing on this nice, beautiful day? Today, we're making some delicious hot wings and some original fried chicken wings just in time for the parties coming up so come on y'all let's get to making our chicken wings hello everyone uh today we're making some hot wings these are some simple hot wings uh i do have a, another recipe where i'm mixing the butter and all that with it but today i have some some wing some wing sauce and this is what we're going to use. Or you can use your favorite wing sauce. Let's get started cooking. Okay, first of all, I'm going to show you. Like I said, I have some wing sauce. I have some seasoned salt, some black pepper, and garlic powder. And I have some flour. And in the back, I have my chicken, which I've been soaking in a little salt just to pull out the impurities of the chicken so they can look really nice and crispy. Okay, now let's season up our chicken wings. Here we're adding our seasoned salt, black pepper, and this is optional. You don't have to use black pepper. Some people use white pepper, but it's all up to you. My garlic powder. Okay, we're gonna mix it. You can use gloves if you prefer. Okay, now we're gonna coat our chicken. And I'm coating our wings with all purpose flour. And then we're gonna fry it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and drop my basket in. Uh, you can um, uh, put your, coat your chicken and put it in that basket before you lower it. You can, but I don't. You see here, I got my flour. Put it in our basket. Here I'm placing in our chicken wings one at a time. And we don't want to overcrowd our wings. Make sure your wings have enough room to fry evenly. Make sure when you're um, using a basket to make sure you shake down your basket, you know, so your wings can fry evenly. Or if you don't have a basket, use a fork to, you know, to make sure they're not touching. They are frying evenly. I'm frying these on a medium high heat. I am not frying these on a rapid heat. Um, so uh, be careful with that heat. And and be cautious of the oil because if you get too close to it, you may get burned. Okay, we're going to fry our wings for 10 to 12 minutes, depending on the size of the wings. If you are using the larger wing, fry them for like 12 to 14 minutes. Okay, while I'm cleaning up my stove, I'm going to continue to fry our wings and we're going to be back. Time to time, go back and check and lift up your um, basket to see if your wings are fried evenly. Um, and then continue to fry and are fully cooked. If you're not for sure if your chicken is completely cooked, take one piece out and um, use a fork and try to make sure it's fully cooked. If you see pink in there, it's not fully cooked. Your chicken wing must be white inside. Okay, our wings has fully cooked, and now we're going to remove them from the oil and from our basket onto a paper towel. Now we're frying up our uh, bare chicken wings. These doesn't have any coating on them. Uh, if you want coating on your Hot wings you can, but I prefer mine without the flour. 
um, but it's all up to you. Okay, we're placing our chicken wings in one at a time and trying not to overcrowd them. And we're going to cook these uh, the same length of time as we did our coated wings. We're going to cook them from 10 to 12 minutes, depending depending on the size. Um, if they're larger, cook them longer, okay? Okay, we're going to finish cooking up our wings, and then we're going to be back as soon as we finish cooking all our wings. Okay, our chicken wings are fully cooked, and we're going to let these drain a little bit and then place these in a bowl since we're going to add sauce to these um, wings. We have one more basket to fry up and then we're going to be back with our next step and saucing up our wings. Okay, our wings are all fully cooked and done. And now we're going to sauce up these wings. Letting you know again that you can use your favorite wing sauce. You do not have to use this sauce. If you don't have wing sauce, all you have to do is open up a bottle of regular hot sauce. Add a half a stick of butter in it. Heat your hot sauce and butter either in a small pot or place it in a bowl in the microwave and melt and then use a spoon and stir it up and there you have your hot wing sauce okay since i have placed my hot wing sauce on top of my wings here we're going to shake them up make sure you use a bowl that has a lid to it so that your wings can be fully covered and mm, and they're going to be so so delicious Okay, here we're plattering up our wings, and these wings will be good for any family gathering, all the parties coming up, or just for any time. These wings are good. I hope y'all enjoy this recipe, y'all. We have more recipes coming up for the parties coming up. Make sure you get my notification because more recipes are coming up for these special events that's coming up and so like i always say i hope y'all enjoy cooking with me as much as i always enjoy cooking with you all okay miss lisa i have finally uploaded this video she's been waiting on it okay i hope y'all enjoyed this recipe don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And please don't forget to hit that notification bell to get our new and upcoming videos. And to all our new viewers and subscribers, you are welcome, welcome, welcome to our channel. Okay, y'all, as always, I'm going to say y'all have a blessed day and bye-bye for now. Love y'all, stay safe, and be blessed. And when life throws you lemons, make lemonade and i do love lemonade sometimes we may be going through tests and trials uh remember we can always pray to god and he does listen to us and so just keep your hands in the lord's hand and let him lead and guide you in the right direction okay everyone be blessed we are at home cooking with miss brenda d so welcome from Miss Brenda D and our family. That's a hit!